Hi folks, uh, I hope you're doing well. It's Monday the 11th of January. I hope you had a good Christmas and a good New Year. I filmed a video before Christmas but didn't get around to putting it up. So what I'll do is just cut the projects that I showed you out of that video and we'll cobble something together. Uh, so I hope you're all doing well. Uh, in the UK we are in lockdown three. Yay! Um, so the kids are back at home and I'm teaching them again and working and everything else. So I've already had a couple of days where I oh, did not feel great. Uh, but it was sort of thrust, thrust upon the country um, late on uh, last Monday night that all primary schools well, basically we're back in lockdown. Um, primary schools had been open for one day and then the secondary schools were closed and they were learning from home for at least the first two weeks. It was like a staggered return. Um, but primary schools, we were told they were okay to go back and then after a whole day where they mixed with people and could possibly get infected, uh, that oh, it wasn't safe and send them all home. So varying degrees of annoyance that you know for the sake of a day what did he not know the day before but oh it's done um thankfully everyone is seems okay in the house at least paul is still having to go out to work so nothing's changed for him i'm still working home from home it's just that i now have to do all the other stuff again but hey -ho. um so yes, I hope you're all keeping safe and if you've got kids at home that you're having to teach, fight the good fight. <laughs> apparently, I, I don't do it myself, um, but apparently no time is too early to start drinking <laughs> to get you through it. Um, the BBC have put some, um, like their BBC bite size, their learning um, programmes they have, they put some of them on for the kids but Tobin's got scheduled learning to do and so he needs to be on the computer needs to be on Microsoft Teams or whatever so he can't watch that at the time but I set it to record and he's watched that today because he finished early and the one for Jack I set it to record and he watched it when he'd finished um, but I would rather him get on with the work that's set for him and then he can come in and watch it afterwards because I need to sit and do my own work without being asked a million questions <laughs> so um yeah we're, we're getting through it pretty much i think but let me show you what i've crocheted because it's three minutes and i've not shown you anything i decided i'm trying to get my stash down a bit um just because I don't, I'm not, I'm still not making a mega roomy. I did buy a couple of patterns, which I might get around to doing. Um, but they're just a mass and I'm not doing anything with them. So, um, I decided to make, I watched uh, Kelly's video. Hi Kelly. Um, excuse me, I've just glugged a load of water. It's making me a uh, burp. Um, I watched Kelly. I've crafted by Kelly X, I think. I'll link the channel below. And she was saying she was making um, sweaters for, or jumpers for her boys. And she'd made some to go in the shop, I think. Um, and it's called the Boy Sweater by Mom Petit Violon. I'll link it. Uh, so I thought, oh, that looks quite nice. And I pulled out this yarn, which I bet I haven't got them. Oh, it's attached to my flower. This yarn, it's a mariner. Um... I bet I've lost the ball band. It's Mariner Heritage. Ah, got it. Heritage, but when you look for it on their website now, it's actually called Hermitage. So they've uh, slipped an M in there. So I bought this a while ago. Don't know what for. Who knows what for? It's shade 902. This nice blue. And it's 100% acrylic. 290 metres, 317 yards. So nice. Uh, nice and soft. It's got a little bit of the um, sort of like roving almost uh, feel to it. Like um, 
Boho, uh, Boho Spirit and King Cole Riot. And I had three balls of this and that's what I've got left of the third ball. So I decided to make one for Jack, because there's no chance Tobin would wear one. Um, and I made the... Not the, the biggest size, the, the one down. So I think it's for seven to eight, maybe. Um, and this is big on him, but he likes wearing it. Um, dances around in it and it's just to throw one over whatever he's wearing at home just to keep him warm because it's costing a fortune to try and keep the heating on all the time so the days where it's slightly milder we're not having the heating on and we're just wrapping up <laughs> whether they like it or not because I haven't been having the heating on well it's just been me so unless it's bitter we had snow last week and one day was minus two so we had the heating on I'm not there's no child endangerment I'm not being mean to them but when we can just put a jumper on we're just putting a jumper on so that is that uh, I started that probably last week sometime uh, so it's not a you know not a tricky pattern or anything I'll link it below it's really nice I like the texture of it so thank you for the recommendation Kelly I think I got uh, a bundle of three patterns so there's some nice jumpers that I might try and make for my niece um, but yeah I thought I'd try my hand at uh, garments. What I'll show you what I made before um, Christmas and I made myself a French press cardi and a poncho. Uh, again, the, it's cold in the house so I need layers and I made some fingerless mitts which I think I showed you. And then I made a couple of amigurumi. I think that's everything. Oh, and some blankets. Anyway, so now going through my stash of ice yarn, I'm just making eight round granny squares and then I'm going to I'm going to keep going through all the yarn I've got this is the this is like one colour I had two bowls of this so I've just gone through and used them all and sort of went until I ran out I think one of them I had to substitute with another colour just to finish off this last round um, and I started a blue one out of this yarn it's just the um, magic light that I've got various balls of so I'm just using it up and then I'll put a couple of blankets together and find an edging colour if I've got enough solid DK of one colour I'm sure I have um, and I'm going to donate them to a local uh, nursing home care home um, just because I, I want to I want to be crocheting because it keeps my hands busy um, and sort of you know I crochet all the time when I can uh, and I'm not working or whatever so I've got nothing in mind to make I don't need to make anything so these are you know mindless I can just you know make them and they're going to a good cause and it's getting the stash down so it you know win 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 I need to show you what I'm keeping my stash in this delightful bag is from um, Yarn and Yarns. Hi Angela. Yes, I um, I pointed Paul towards what I would like from the kids for Christmas. So it says, uh, what say? A ball of yarn and a crochet hook. That's all it takes to make me happy. Which is very true. So it's one of the Emma Ball range. Like the project bag I got uh, last time I showed you. Last time I did a video. So this has got a cute granny square on it. And... A puffin and it's really nice so I saw it and thought yes I want that so thank you Angela um, yeah it's very good I just sent Paul a link by that <laughs> uh, and even on the he showed me the packing slip um, like afterwards and he says he said something like hi Paul I guess this is a gift for Kim yeah it was so thank you very much um, what did I get for Christmas? Uh, Spotify voucher of Paul. Um, just a couple of bits and bobs. Some socks of him and the kids. Because um, we didn't really, you know, not going anywhere, we're not doing anything. So we sort of said we'll, we'll get each other presents when, you know, in the year when we need them. Um, so yeah, I got money and vouchers and stuff and can't spend it now because I can't go to the blinking shop. Um, so yeah, it's all just in a pot for when when something comes up, when I need something or when I want something. 
or when I, you know, get really stressed and go and order yarn because I'm sad. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I'll put in um, clips of what I've made previously. And yeah, I think I'll call it a day there. So I hope you're all okay. Uh, apologies for not putting many videos up. I know it's it's been quite a while in between. But honestly, between sort of um, lack of crojo, lack of motivation to sit on the computer and life slightly kicking my butt at the minute. Um, I've not got around to much. So um, thank you for sticking with me. I'm sorry it's been so off and on. Uh, normally I'll probably be doing like a vlog every day in January, but there's just no way I have the brain space or anything happening. And I've got to stop putting pressure on myself because it's making me a bit, <laughs> uh, which I'm sure you can all appreciate. It's um, yet again unprecedented, or it's still unprecedented times we live in. And I completely came off social media for a couple of days, uh, obviously with all the stuff going on in America and uh, where do you even start with that? Oh my word. Um, so yeah, <laughs> before I get all morbid and down and stuff, um, stay safe, uh, stay well. Hopefully you can find something to keep you, help you try and keep your spirits up. So take care. Um, I love you all and I'll speak to you soon. Bye guys. But I want to show you some um, stuff I've made. Uh, let me see which way around this is. I have a uh, very sneaky, <laughs> it's, yeah, pretend I've done it on purpose. I've forgotten one end, which denotes the inside of this cardigan. I've made the French press cardi. Now, forgive me if I don't sit up. I'm having uh, quite a few body issues at the moment, and I don't feel very uh, comfortable showing my body off, because I've gained weight. Um, so I made this cardigan, it's, I'll link it below, it's the French press cardi that I said I was making, I think, in my last video, by Zines and Roger. So it comes down uh, past my waist, no no fastenings or anything. Um, let me take it off and I can hold it up and show you. I, I'm not comfortable with sharing anything sort of below here, below here, because I don't feel very good at the minute. Um, that's probably the best way to put it. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a, a decent length, I think it's, it, I've gone further down than the pattern because it was supposed to be reasonably cropped. But it's interesting construction. You make, you do the top like side to side. And then you see where the pattern changes, where the direction changes. And then you make the bottom and do a ribbon all the way around. So to be honest, to say this is one of the very few garments I've made, I really like it. It fits nicely. Uh, it's comfy, it's cosy, it keeps me warm. That was the, the aim. Um, to get a crinkle in, I'll get the yarn. I bought two of these um, because the yardage said, uh, suggested yardage on the pattern said I needed more than was in one of these balls. So it's uh, Hayfield, Hayfield Bonus Aran with Wool. And this is called uh, Finchdale, shade 0705. So I bought this from Kemp's. Uh, I'll link them below, Kemp's Wool Shop. It was, I think, eight ninety nine for a huge ball, so, and it's got wool in it, so it can't really moan too much. So, French Press Cardi is paid for pattern. Uh, it suggests, I don't know if it just suggests worsted or chunky, uh, but I thought I'll go with uh, Aaron, I can work it, you know, to fit or whatever. Uh, I did go down quite a bit on the intended uh, hook size for the ribbon. I think I went down to a 4 mil hook. And to be honest, if I was to do it again and make the sleeves longer, I'd want this tighter. Um, but it's it's good length. I tend to wear it over the top of, you know, whatever I'm wearing that day if I get cold. And then I was finding that my hands are getting, oh, my top half's getting cold. I've been putting a blanket on my bottom half. <laughs> as I sit at, the, at my desk um, but I thought what about if I make a poncho so I made a poncho so this is the other colour I bought uh, in mind for making a French press cardi so as this the French press only took one ball or just under I could probably make another one because I've got two of these so I made the 
Don't Stop Me Now Poncho by Crystal of Bag of Day Crochet. I love it. I love it. I've also made one, f uh, a poncho for Jack. I haven't got it. Um, uh, some Bernat uh, blanket yarn that I had. Uh, some pooling yarn that Amber sent me. Hey Amber, thank you. Um, so yes, Jack has a... He was like, can I have a poncho out of blanket yarn? I was like, uh... I was like, I know the exact one. So this again is a good length. It goes down past my waist. Um, I love the texture of it. It's a really nice pattern. Super easy. Uh, it works up lovely. I think I did this on a five and a half mil hook maybe. Uh, and it, I just used... I think I used the whole ball. But when I knew I was going to run out, you know, I didn't want to start another another ball because while it could be longer on the arms, it's like, because I'm short, it's quite long on me. So this is Hayfield Bonus Iron Tweed. Um, yeah, 20% wool blend. And I like it because the tweeds are, you know, red and orange and uh, cream. And this colour is... Ah, uh, 0624. Doesn't give the colour name, but I can't remember what it was. Nice though, really nice. I think this was like 9.99 a ball or something. So again, for 400 grams with wool in it. I didn't want really woolly wool because it. I'm not very good with it. It makes me itch a bit. Um, but this isn't too bad. And I tend to wear it, you know, over whatever I'm wearing. So if I'm, I get cold while I'm working and I've got my fleece on or a hoodie or whatever, i put this on over the top just as an extra layer to keep me a little bit warmer until the heating kicks in when the kids get home. <laughs> I know how to treat myself. Um, and then also from Kemp's, I bought three of these Sirdar Snuggly Patter Cake Double Knitting. Um, shade 756, I think it's called Choco Love or something like that. And it's 70% acrylic. 30% nylon, I think. And yeah, 498 metres, 554 yards, 150 grams per cake. Uh, I am making, I'm going to have to cut in a minute because uh, it's telling me I've got four minutes left, so I need to delete something, obviously. I am making the Spiked Granny Blanket by uh, Hooked by Robin here on YouTube. I'll link to the tutorial for this. Um, so I've gone about 30 something inches wide um, and it's a really pretty stitch so it's just a, a like a spiked granny and it's interesting how it works up in this variegated or in this gradient uh, versus how it works up on the video where Robin changes colour you know every couple of rows um, but I really like it this is how much I've got left so a little bit more and I'll be doing the finishing off row. I'm not edging it because I think it's pretty as it is. There's no home for that. This day I just need to, I need to be crocheting at the minute. I need to keep my hands busy and help keep my mind, I don't know, focused and not focused at the same time. Just something to plod away on. Um, so that's it for, oh no, it's not it. I'll cut here, fetch the things I want to show you and delete some footage and then I'll come back and talk at you some more. One second guys, tested some patterns for uh, Michelle Estrada who is the Pixie Marie, I think. I'll link to her channel um, and Instagram below. Um, I did some amigurumi uh, testing for her and this is the first dude I made. A little hot cocoa or chocolate or coffee or whatever you want it to be. But isn't he huge? He's super cute. So that was the first one. And then I started working on the penguin and sent off some questions uh, I had about the pattern. And um, while I was waiting, I made the snowman. Look at his cute little face. Super cute. So I really enjoyed making him. Uh, I also made the penguin uh, when the pattern was uh, revised. I made it. Um, made it. And that's actually gone to a friend of Jack's, just because he loves penguins. As soon as I put a picture up of it, his mum said, how much for the penguin? And I just said, I was bringing it to school for Charlie tomorrow anyway, don't worry. So I made those, and that is it for my making. I've, I've not...